What's going on, Z Nation, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Cavaliers tonight. But before anything, like always, guys, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And guys, please be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload on YouTube on an every daily basis when there's a Laker game or just basically anything newsworthy, Lakers, Lakers news, just anything newsworthy to just bring it to you guys on this channel. Uh, and guys, seriously, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys give me on this channel. Now, guys, as concerns for tonight's game, guys, obviously tonight it was one of those moments where the Lakers just really, really underestimated uh, th this Cavaliers team. Uh, obviously, they saw the record and obviously what they have on the team, you know, with, you know, Kevin Love being out and just basically having players around them that, you know, they un unusually don't have. Uh, basically, they just took advantage of the opportunity and just played good basketball against this uh, Lakers team. And personally, I really thought that the Lakers would have taken this win. It, it was one of those sort of wins that they could have taken, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And obviously, uh, you know, the Cavaliers, they're not a good get, good team themselves, but obviously they could they played good defense out there tonight. So it was just obvious that, you know, they were just taking advantage of this Lakers team and... Um, you know, just the Lakers just, you know, hook, light, and slinker, if you if you think about it. I mean, they, uh, they, they really underestimated this uh, Cavaliers team and, and the results they lost, uh, I believe, 100 to 95. And guys, I have to say, honestly, I was really impressed with the Lakers in the final, final seconds of the game. And especially from Kyle Kuzma, who made that 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 three, and obviously there were the Lakers at the time by the final sec, maybe the final twenty seconds of the game, uh, they were just down by possibly I believe like three, maybe five points, and then somehow there was a three that was made, and they were down by three, and then. Once again, you know, the Lakers, uh, you know, they kept on fouling, uh, you know, the, the Cavaliers players. And obviously, you know, they just extended that lead. And obviously, we saw the results and it just looked like that the Lakers were not going to get this win. So, obviously, in some aspect, you know, aspect of the game, the Lakers did play well. They performed very well. But somehow, it just wasn't enough for them to basically take this win against this Cavaliers team and as a result of the this loss I believe the Lakers are now tied with the Utah Jazz um, you know in losing and I'm not sure if they're still at the uh, playoff margin because if they're tied with the Utah Jazz it's sort of a you know if the you know if, what if the uh, the Jazz move up or possibly they just stay put? I'm not so sure with this whole situation of of the Lakers uh, uh loss record between the uh, the Utah Jazz, but obviously as a result tonight they are tied with the uh, with the Jazz in um, for like a playoff contention, and um, it still remains to be seen how that will change, but. Um, you know, it still remains to be seen, and, I'll, and um, we'll just see if if that stays put or not. But uh, guys, this is real quick. Let's talk about this Lakers team. Let's start with the uh, the starting lineup. Uh, also, you know, with Kyle Kuzma, you know, tonight averaged twenty nine points. He was basically the type of guy who really helped out the Lakers in the final seconds left with just possibly getting a, you know a certain lead, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. And um, it was just a decent performance, a great performance actually from Kyle Kuzma, continuing to score for the Lakers and just being that reliability, you know, with the whole uh, LeBron James being out and just obviously we just had to rely on Kyle Kuzma, to be honest, 
to really um, take this Lakers uh, to possibly gain a win or just, you know, being that second best player on the Lakers, to be honest. I mean, let's just be honest here. I mean, he is. And um, he's just been really good reliability for the Lakers uh, scoring wise and uh, continuing to uh, progress uh, and just becoming something special in this league. And guys, to be honest, if uh, it, if some people are still voting in the All-Star, uh, who's going to be in the All-Star, I really encourage all of you to just vote for Kyle Kuzma to become an All-Star this year because everything shows out there that he is the capability, he has the capability of being an All-Star in this league and it shows on an every night basis uh, when the Lakers are playing. So it's just a great moment to really recognize the greatness of Kyle Kuzma. So great job tonight for Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Brandon Ingram also had a good game tonight, also with 20 points. I believe like maybe it was 20 or 21 points, something like that. So a decent performance out of him. Uh, Lonzo, um, I can honestly say, guys, he did have a decent night, a decent performance. I don't want to say great because, you know, he, he was like, most of the time not scoring and just half the time just grabbing those rebounds and you know playmaking at key moments where there was key moments in the game where he did help the Lakers you know with the whole Kyle Kuzma shooting that three that made the Lakers uh just extend their lead uh they were just possibly down by three or uh, five points uh, into the game, uh, the final seconds into the game, and you know that all had to do with Lonzo playing uh, good playmaking, basketball IQ, and just grabbing those rebounds. Honestly, and just uh, on his end, it was just a decent performance, a decent night for Lonzo. So that's all I can really say about him and uh, Josh Hart um, continuing to not uh, not being really aggressive out there tonight he only had nine points and i guess on top of my head i think he had maybe three or four rebounds something like that so it was just a not good performance out of uh i have josh hart and especially from javel mcgee who i believe he had two points two points out there tonight he did have eight rebounds so that's a solid uh solid uh part on his end tonight so uh that's that's all i can really say about the starting lineup but other than the the backups uh the only player that I can say who stepped up off the bench was michael beasley continuing to show his presence on the team and just uh showing a lot of uh uh positivity uh off the bench and you know playing very aggressive as well and he only had eight points. I mean, he only played for seven minutes. And I always question why Luke Walton does not play Michael Beasley more often and giving him more minutes. Because obviously when he plays more minutes, he does give a good performance for the Lakers. And, you know, for the past maybe three games now, he has been averaging about, I guess on top of my head, I think he'd like average about 14 to 18 points a game. And, really shows that sort of veteran leadership that he brings and that aggressiveness out there. So it shows, guys, that um, the bench is sort of different and just, uh, you know, we can like also tell that Lance Stevenson did not have a good performance out there with zero points and he played for like 15 minutes. So it kind of questions, you know, uh, you know, why isn't the backups not stepping up their role? And obviously they know the situation, and I know the situation also, you know, with the whole LeBron James being out with that groin injury, and I think he's going to be out for maybe two more games, and, you know, with Rajon Rondo, uh, it still, it still, like, takes a lot of toll on the Lakers for for those sort of losses, and I can guarantee you guys, if, if LeBron James and Rajon Rondo were... Uh, not injured, I can guarantee you the 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 type of situation that the Lakers in would not be this way, and they could have gotten a better lead, a better record, and obviously they could have possibly stayed at the fourth spot of the Western Conference where they were once were 
but unfortunately that just wasn't the case and um it still remains to be seen you know if the lakers are capable you know without lebron and rondo if they could still possibly get a win or just come back and just play good lakers basketball and i know they can possibly pull it off on tuesday when they play against the chicago bulls uh they are also not you know not a good team also so they could possibly make a comeback uh you know with or maybe not come back, but I mean like a, a maybe a solid win possibly on Tuesday. I'm still rooting for that, and maybe possibly they can just turn this thing around, and uh, you know just survive. They should just they should just survive for these next couple of games until LeBron or possibly Rondo possibly returns in these next couple of uh, couple of games. So guys, please comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Uh, what you guys think of today's game? Uh, obviously, you know, with the with this Lakers loss, uh, it's hard to say how you know the Lakers play, but uh, and how could they lose against this Cavaliers team who has a record of eight and thirty or something like that? So uh, it's kind of hard to say why did the Lakers lose, but it kind of shows, you know, obviously defense and you know just shooting shooters. You know, the Lakers are in desperate need of getting, uh, you know, of getting shooters and just rebounders, to be honest. And it's kind of hard to say if uh, that will possibly happen maybe uh, during the trade deadline or something like that. It still remains to be seen. So um, I'm just crossing my fingers that the Lakers just somehow pull off a win, possibly on Tuesday against the Chicago Bulls. Uh, but, you know, Still remains to be seen. So, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Let's just hope that they turn this around and possibly get us a win on Tuesday against the Chicago Bulls. Peace.